Hello, so I'm Chris, I'm the UX designer. Hi, I'm Josie, I'm also a UX designer. Uh, and I'm Junior, I'm the UX designer as well. So, we, uh, we were the Monzo team, um, and this is the problem statement. Can we remove friction from their customer experience? by um, using voice uh, UI. And there's two things we're gonna try and do. So users are able to check their balance and send money to their contacts. So we're gonna talk through the design process we went through. So the first thing is we found four people that are Monzo users. But the interesting thing about them all is that they're all very tech savvy. And it was all about the ease of things. So ease of checking their balance, ease of paying contacts. Interviewed these four people, um, asked them lots of questions. These are some of the kind of uh, headline statements. Um, and from that, we developed a couple of personas. Something that a lot of them were doing is any, before any event, it was kind of like, well, I'm going to check my balance. So before going out, before buying something. So it's that kind of on the move idea and just being the immediate of checking stuff. Um, and then another aspect of it was the categorization of spending. And that also then informs the Alexa persona as well. We wanted to try to get the, uh, the attitudes that would help us in, inform the, the system personas. So some of the things that we got out of it was trustworthiness, confidence, honesty, um, friendliness. So we created a customer, a customer journey map. Uh, we wanted to tease out the, what the touch points were. So here's some of the initial scripts. So we're talking about paying content contact, paying somebody for the first time. These are just a few of them, but they're the ones that we started scripting out, and this is an example. This is a screen grab of our whole app, essentially, at the moment. You add something, and then you test it, and then you add a bit more, and then test it again. We're building up storyline for both of the intents, pay balance and, and pay contacts. We're into the user flows then. So here's an example. This is just a sample of one of them, but we've obviously got a load that we've done, including pin and pay contact. As Chris said, we that those flows in storyline we um, sort of iterated those and we had a sort of final sort of prototype that we uploaded onto the echo dot um, we tested the invocation request check balance and pay contacts to types thanks to zara we sort of wrote a discussion guide and we our sort of key observation points were navigation processability is it useful is it is it, is it succinct enough um, and appropriate as it relevant. Positive insights were all users were able to complete the task. The tone of voice, the Monzo users, it met their expectations. And general feedback was, uh, yeah, Monzo users, obviously there were their three key features they use and top up would have been one they would like. Uh, we added additional uh, invocation utterances. The other thing is the channel, the open channel. We tested sort of opening it and sort of included that in the flows. Hi there, welcome to Monzo. You can check your balance, top up your balance or pay a contact. What would you like to do? Pay a contact. Okay, who would you like to pay? John Dory. How much do you want to pay John Dory? £25. Do you want to make the payment now? Yes. Okay, so you want to pay John Dory £25 now, is that right? Yes. All done. You have just paid John Dory £25. So the next steps need to work out the, the pin. The other one is the where the sort of multimodal would provide a sort of an enhanced experience. In terms of the recommendations, uh, I think send emojis and then support third key for Monzo users top up. That's it.